In this video, I will be covering bid evaluation and this comes under CFA level 2, Corporate Finance, Reading 25, Mergers and Acquisitions. In every merger and acquisition deal, there will be an acquirer and a target and the acquirer will have to make an offer to the target and the offer must be attractive enough. Now, while the acquirer wants to pay as low as possible, the target will want to negotiate the highest price possible. And the price that the acquirer offers must include uh, the premium. And they will also have to propose the form of payment. And the payment can come in the form of a cash offer or a stock offer or a mixed offer, which uh, comprises of cash uh, and stock. And depending on the choice of the price and the form of payment, it will impact the distribution of risks and benefits to both the acquirer and the target. Now, once the acquirer has decided the price and form of payment, then next the next part would be what would be the gain for both the acquirer and the target. Because if there will be no gain, then they, this deal would not be worth doing. Now, let's assume that the target has a pre-merger market value of V sub T and the acquirer has proposed to pay a price of P sub T and the acquirer has estimated that the synergies from this combination uh, to be equals to S. Now, first off, what's the gain for the target shareholders? For the target shareholders, the gain would be the premium, which is the price paid uh, to the target company minus the pre-merger market value of the target. And for the acquirer, the gain would be the synergies minus the premium paid to the target. So the synergies would be denoted as S and the premium would be the price paid to the target company minus the pre-merger market value. Now, once the deal is accepted by the target, then the acquirer and target will merge and we will then have the combined company, which we'll call AT in short. So what's the post-merger value of this combined company? The formula here will be the pre-merger value of the acquirer plus the pre-merger value of the target and then we add in the synergies from this combination and we minus off the cash paid to target shareholders and of course if we can denote the combined company post-merger value as V sub AT the acquirer's pre-merger value as V sub A and V sub T would be the pre-merger value of the target and S would be the synergies and C would be the cash paid to the target shareholders now let's look at example 1 where the bid is made in a cash offer. Now Amber makes a cash offer to acquire a company called Browser at $15 per share of Browser stock. Now the synergies from this acquisition is estimated to be $200 million. Now given the details here, the, uh, the pre-merger stock price of Amber is $20 per share and Browser is $12 per share. Now Amber has 100 million shares outstanding and Browser has 50 million shares outstanding. And the pre-merger market value, which is the pre-merger stock price multiplied by the number of shares outstanding, it's 2,000 million for Amber and 600 million for Browser. Now let's say we are uh, required to calculate the gain to Browser's shareholders, which is the target, and the gain to Amber's shareholders, which is the acquirer, and the post-merger value of Amber. Now, to calculate Browser's shareholders, that would be the premium received by them. And that would be the price paid to the target company, P sub T, minus the pre-merger market value of Browser. Keep in mind, Browser is a target in this example. Now, what was the price paid? So, Amber proposed a price of $15 per share, while Browser's pre-merger stock price is $12. So that will be $15 minus $12, which comes out to $3 per share. Now, uh, of course, if you look at the total amount, that don't forget that Browser has 50 million shares. And if you multiply that, of course, you will have 150 million. So another perspective is to show it in a total uh, gain. So for Browser's shareholders, they will be receiving $15, million, uh, $15 per share times 50 million shares. And the pre-merger market value is $12 times 50 million shares. So they'll be receiving a total value of $750 million against their pre-merger market value of $600 million. 
and that would be 150 million, which is three dollars multiplied by 50. Now the next part will calculate the gain to Amberg's shareholders, which is the acquirer in this case. And the formula for the acquirer's shareholders gain is the synergies minus the premium. The synergies here is estimated to be 200 million, while the premium paid to Broza is 150 million from the previous uh, question. So taking 200 million minus 150 million, the shareholders gain for Amberg will be 50 million dollars. And lastly, the post-merger value of Amber. So we used the formula earlier to calculate the post-merger value. So we will need the value of Amber pre-merger plus the pre-merger value of Broza plus the synergies minus the cash paid to Broza's shareholders. So we have 2,000 plus 600. Then we add in the synergies of 200 million. And then we minus the cash paid to Broza's shareholders, which is 750 million. If you recall from question A earlier, uh, to get 750 million, we took $15 multiplied by 50 million shares. So adding up all the numbers, we have we get a post-merger value of $2,050 million, 400 million shares in Amber. So what's the price per share for Amber post-merger? So we'll take 2050 divided by 100, so that's $20.50 per share post-merger. Now let's look at example 2 where the bid is made uh, with 100% stock offer. So the same companies, Amber makes a stock offer to acquire Broza where Amber will give Broza's shareholders 0.75 shares of Amber per share of Broza stock. The synergies from this acquisition is estimated to be $200 million and the details are similar to the ones in example 1. And now we'll calculate A, the, the post-merger value of Amber, B, the gain to Broza's shareholders, C, the gain to Amber's shareholders. So where there is a stock offer involved, it's best to calculate the post-merger value before we calculate the rest. Now let's begin. So to get the post-merger value of Amber, we can use the formula uh, that we used in the previous example. But before that, let's calculate how many shares would Amber need to issue. Uh, at, in exchange for Broza's shareholders' shares. So given the exchange ratio of 0 0.75, and given that Broza's, uh, Broza has 50 million shares outstanding, Amber would have to issue 37.5 million new shares. And the post-merger value of Amber would be the pre-merger value of Amber, which is 2,000 million, plus the pre-merger value of Broza, which is 600 million, plus the synergies 200 million and minus the cash paid to Broza's shareholders which is zero since this is a 100% stock offer. So the post-merger value would be $2,800 million. Now what's the gain to Broza's shareholders? Now before we do that we'll need to find out what's the value per share of Amber post-merger and that would be $2,800 million divide by the new number of shares after the issuance of the new shares. So there will be 100 million shares from Amber existingly, plus the new 37.5 million shares, so that's a total of 137.5 million shares. And when you divide 2008 by 137.5, the per share value will be about $20.36. So I will keep another decimal place to maintain the accuracy. So for Broza's shareholders gains, again we'll use a formula where we'll take P sub T, this is the value paid to Broza's shareholders, minus the pre-merger market value of Broza. So remember, Broza will be receiving 37.5 million shares from this acquisition. So there will be 37.5 million multiplied by $20.36 or 20.364. And we minus the pre-merger value of Broza, which is 600 million. So how much value is Broza's shareholders going to get? That's $763.65 million. And if you net that off with the pre-merger value, the Broza's shareholders will gain $163.65 million from this stock offer. So in the last part, what is the gain to Amberg's shareholders? 
So for Amber shareholders, the gain would be the synergy minus the premium paid to Brose's shareholders. And the synergy is 200 million minus the premium, which is 163.65 million. So Amber shareholders will gain $36.35 million. Now, an alternative way to get this number would be to again start from the value per share post merger for Amber, which is 20.364. Then we'll multiply this by 100 million to get the value received or the value for Amber's shareholders which is 20.364 multiplied by 100 million shares. So Amber shareholders share value in total will be about $2,036.4 million. And compare this against their pre-merger market value of 2000 what's their gain? We just take the difference. So the difference here would be $36.4 million, which is similar to what we have calculated previously. But of course, uh, there, is a, uh, there will be a rounding error to be expected here, but they should be equal. Now in example 3, we'll look at a bid made with a mixed offer. Now Amber makes a mixed offer to acquire Browser, where Amber will pay $8 per share and give Browser's shareholders 0.3 shares of Amber per share of Browser's stock. Now synergies from this acquisition is estimated to be $200 million. The details are similar to the previous two examples. And we'll calculate the post-merger value of Amber, the gain to Browser's shareholders, and the gain to Amberg's shareholders. Now, again, uh, since there will be a stock offer, let's calculate how many new shares Amberg will issue. So there'll be 0 0.3 multiplied by 50 million, that will, so Amberg will have to issue 15 million new shares. And the post-merger value of Amberg will be the pre-merger value of Amberg, 2,000 million, plus the pre-merger value of Broza, 600 million, plus the synergies of 200 million dollars, and how much cash is paid to Browser's shareholders. So that will be $8 per share multiplied by 50 million shares that Browser's shareholders have. So of course, uh, Browser's shareholders will receive a total of $400 million of cash apart from the 50 million new shares from Amber. So the post-merger value of Amber will be $2,400 million. Now what's the gain to Browser's shareholders? So first off, we calculate the per share value of Amber post merger. So that'd be 2,400 million divided by 100 million shares, which Amber has existingly, plus the new 15 million shares that they will issue. So the per share value post merger will be $20.87. And Browser's shareholders gain would be the price or value paid to Browser's shareholders minus the pre merger value of Browser. So the price paid to or the value paid to uh, share the browser shareholders will consist of two parts. One would be the cash portion and the next would be the stock portion. So the stock portion would be the 15 million shares multiplied by the per share value which is $20.87 plus the cash offer of $400 million then we minus the pre-merger value which is $600 million. So, the total value received by browser shareholders will be $713.05 million against the pre-merger value of $600. So the browser shareholders will gain $113.05 million. And lastly, the gain to Amberg shareholders will be the synergies minus the premium. And the synergy will be $200 million minus the premium paid to browser shareholders, which is $113.05 million. So Amberg's shareholders will gain $86.95 million. And alternatively, we can calculate this in another way. We could take the per share value of Amberg post-merger and then multiply it by the number of shares Amberg had before the merger, which is 100 million shares. So the value to Amberg's shareholders would be $2,087 million. And what was their pre-merger market value? That's 2000 so how much did they gain? That would be $87 million. To summarize the entire bid for between Amber and Browser, we will now look at each different offer and what is the gain for each party and see which one would we actually take. So we have the cash offer where Amber proposed $15 per share and a stock offer where Amber proposed 0.75 Amber shares per share of Browser stock 
and the mixed offer where Amberg proposes $8 per share plus 0.3 Amberg shares per share of Bros's stock. Now the post merger value will be 2050 million for the cash offer and 2800 million for the stock offer and 2400 million dollars for the mixed offer. And we have the respective share price for each um, post merger value for each option. And Amberg shareholders gain will gain uh, 50 million under the cash offer, 36.35 million under the stock offer and 86.95 million dollars under the mixed offer. While Bros's shareholders will gain 150 million under the cash offer, 163.65 million under the stock offer, and 113.05 million dollars under the mixed offer. Now, which would be the optimal amount? Now, to answer that, it depends on which side you are representing. So, if you are from Amberg side, or if you are an investment bank that is representing Amberg, you will definitely want to maximize the gain for your shareholders. So you would, of course, go for the mixed offer. So you will gain $86.95 million. But if you represent Broza, you will want to maximize the gain for your shareholders. So you will opt for the stock offer. 